Welcome back to my channel guys. Let's check out the garden this morning. It's sunny here. I'm so happy. Look at this first container at all this beauty. You're gonna see my shadow from time to time. Just bear with me. Don't mind it. Look at those beautiful chaos. How large they are. Some are smaller, right? Those are still small. They kind of never grew, and I'm thinking maybe they're gonna grow when I'm gonna get rid of uh, most of these, like by the end of the season, I would think. But it's fine, right? If by the end of the season those are gonna start growing, then I'm gonna have kind of new batch. Another kale which was eaten by some kind of green uh, caterpillar that loves my my um, kale. I, um, as soon as I see them. I get rid of them, but they do have an opportunity to munch on a couple of my leaves. But that's fine. Look at the beautiful lattices. Okay, now let's move to the mints. This mint is doing slightly better than usually, normally. Didn't die yet, because as you remember, they are as soon as they are growing they're kind of dying drying off and and, and finishing <laughs> their path it's still smelling amazing all this dry even like brown leaves they smell amazing mint but no idea why they are drying off this other one is beautiful and large and i have to chop it and have it but you know maybe you figured already that I'm somehow lazy doing that maybe I like just having them and looking at them rather than more than eating them <laughs> okay now the blueberries the perpetua I've collected twice the crops already and the third time is coming soon you see some of the blue ones, the ripe uh, blueberries are there. I'm trying to get closer th over there, but let's see if I can magnify that for you. Okay, I can. Here you go. Now this is the jelly bean. I collected almost everything that was ready so far. There are a few that are still getting ready, but otherwise they were large and huge and beautiful. Really love them. Look, I'm having here a strawberry. This is the early variety, but it still is trying to get ready and ripen. Because the majority of them are already done, gone. They are not gonna be uh, blossoming anymore, despite, not despite, but uh, uh, contrary to my everbearing, which I'm gonna show you right now. On my everbearing, you see it's blossoming again and having new berries. And let's see if there are any more anywhere. Here, you see another couple, and here, right, and the flowers. So the everbearing bears ever. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, berries, berries ever, <laughs> which I love uh, about it a lot. And uh, the berries, even though they are smaller, like the strawberries, they are still very delicious. Not still, but even sweeter than those ones for the early. And this is the the other blueberry. This one is still green. See, but beautiful, abundant, and still not um, ready, which is okay. I'm not in a hurry at all. Let's look at uh, those ones, the couple of Chandlers. Interestingly, their, their leaves got all burnt by the sun, I think. They are all brown, beautiful color. I love it. But I think this is the, the sun that's uh, kind of browned it and here are some berries 
on this one and on that one they are all against this tower here you see so this is the chandler beautiful chandler now let's do the bottom row so this is the uh, pot plot container with the uh, lettuces and the original couple lettuces that were the earliest I started collecting from them the earliest as you see those the earliest they all uh, started going into a flower uh, started creating a flower for flower and uh, I have a couple of them like this and I'm, I'm still keeping them that's fine and uh, uh, here when I'm collecting uh, sometimes I just get rid of some of the leaves that are that got browner or or drier and then put them here eventually I'm gonna b bury them under the soil and it's gonna be the compost for the next year next season so these are the leaves the next is my dill dill coriander which whatever uh, had an opportunity to, <laughs> to sprout it's kind of like bushy and looks like weed more <laughs> to me i didn't uh, use it as i was supposed to but i'm still keeping it for now just because i'm i feel sorry to get rid of it and i still can you need you see collect uh, a lot of uh, dill say here and on each of the uh, each of the plant i could if i chose to you know uh, I could go and and have the leaves I see and a couple of lettuces doing fine in this plot now the next one this one is the pepper lettuce the lettuces are doing great I'm chopping them often you can see this by their stem and these are the leaves that I was cutting uh, and I'm trying to chop them often because of my peppers you see they are hidden underneath they're trying to grow uh, tall because they're, they're lacking sun light but I think they are still good uh, companions to some extent because the peppers might not always like the too much of the sunshine they do but uh, um, maybe not always I'm just gonna give you a quick example on top here you see I have a pepper that's kind of in the direct sunlight sunlight it doesn't uh, grow like large so that's why I'm saying yes it is the shadow that makes them grow taller but still they grow and they have like uh, quite a lot of leaves layers of leaves and yeah, some are curly and strange, but that's fine. Uh, so, you know, I don't mind that they are companions, that there is some shadow to my peppers. Um, I think they are good neighbors. And what can I say? Love my, my lettuces. Beautiful. Actually, uh, this last week I collected maybe four times lettuce. You know, I went and, and got the um, bottom layer layers la uh, leaves for my salads, and I had like large, like bowl, like really large bowl, like four of those uh, in total for during the last week. Uh, look at this one. This one is special. I really like it. I just have one of this. I already showed it to you, but I admire it. <laughs> it's so beautiful. It's like you see, it's like a princess to me like a beautiful lattice with beautiful curly leaves really like it it's like trying to shadow it so it's kind of you can see it more clearly you see pretty pretty and beautiful so this one used to be my mm, radish and pepper plot now it's just the pepper and my beautiful princess they're doing okay can say that they are you know growing too fast or anything doing okay the sunshine is really strong this morning you see 
some I had some tiny babies here that they kind of not cannot make it cannot start growing trying trying but uh, eventually they are not kind of growing they are stagnant now the next one is the kale and peppers doing pretty good I've trimmed my kales only once so far but uh, I can do it the second time now you see I have quite a bit of leaves at least like three of these ones I could do and maybe four oh, so sunny don't know if you're gonna be able to see all this the peppers are kind of okay as well not too fast you see this one is kind of taller maybe again because of the shadow this one two leaves and there was an accident with this one so no top I'm hoping for it to s grow uh, sprouts from the side of the leaves you know just sprout a a branch here and there I planted another one but stagnant and that one is stagnant as well Let's see yum okay and another spot plot of my lettuce sorry doing pretty good I'd say you know abundant and lavish and I'm also trimming a lot of uh, leaves from it uh, it kind of like you know they kind of laid down they were growing in straight line and then at some point probably it was too much too heavy they kind of started sitting down and you see there's kind of like a hole in the middle and they are mm, trying to lay on the sides of the container that's fine I don't mind and my bush of my spinach the spinach is I'm gonna try to increase the size you see the seeds are getting ready I see large and nice they are still green but we have something to plant closer to the fall when it's gonna be less hot and then we hopefully can have some more spinach and my chives you see, I was telling you I'm so lazy. I've been promising to trim them and cut them and, and have them for so long. I haven't had it yet. I haven't done just done it once during this year. Maybe because of my abundance of my lettuces. Yeah, now the top layer. The top layer is looking beautiful. Beautiful lettuces. A kale. All the top rows, if you notice, I don't know if it's uh, like the smaller kind of uh, size of the containers, they are shorter or because it's they're closer to the sunshine. You see, this is how tall the container is. For those ones that are on the floor, it's probably the same height, I'd say, you know. I can't say that these are much deeper but uh, the plants grow much taller here here maybe again that's probably the sunshine they're all low and and kind of they are sturdy you know they are not flimsy this is very interesting you know and again this one with the pepper and i think i forgot to find or didn't find one of the uh, onions so we're gonna just leave it we'll see and you see a lettuce this one is kind of forming a head of lettuce all the rest are oftentimes uh, uh, like opening up you know beautifully this one is close together so and a couple of kills here and there doing pretty good 
this one. You see, opening up. This one is closing down, opening up. <laughs> Interesting, like, right? These, to me, they are the same varieties, but behave differently. Yeah, okay. Now let's move on to this side. Look at my green tomato. I think that with this one is already taller than me. Let me come closer. Yeah, now this one is taller than me. And an interesting thing is that there is no berries, meaning no tomatoes whatsoever. And I'm not sure why, you see? When they are blossoming, this is how they, their flower look like. I don't know if... Uh, I can't say there are no, no um, insects that would pollinate it. And I'm not sure how to pollinate it myself, but uh, I don't know if it's the build of the flower that's not really or difficult to pollinate or not easy to pollinate, but and like a common example would be drying out, you know. And another common example would be just drying out and dropping the flowers. That's it. And the whole large, tall, beautiful tree, I would call it now, <laughs> with no tomatoes whatsoever. Now moving on to the to the beefsteak side. On this side we have beefsteak, and look at this, look at those, look at this amazingness and craziness, look over there, I think this is the first one, which looks like there are two kind of together, but it's single, you know, I think this is how it's normally, it looks like I'm trying to get inside, to get closer. You see? With the sunshine, hard to see. You see? All these beautiful things. So no problems with these ones. You see the flowers on this one are looking like this, but there are no problems with their pollination. Interesting. Okay, let's move down to our kales. You see, I had a guest here as well munching on my kale here. I think I found it. It was tiny, tiny cut green caterpillar. Normally they are kind of larger, thicker caterpillars, but this one was kind of tiny, unless I wasn't able to find it. I looked through every leaf, but wasn't able to find anything except that tiny green caterpillar. And behind it, did it. Still doing slow, going slow, but that's okay. And ta -da, the second container with a pepper and uh, the cucumber. So that was the first leaf that just dropped off. And now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and about seven real leaves. And we have a flower here. This one is male, right? We had a female over there. And when it was blossoming, there was no male flower blossoming at that time. Later on, by the end of this one, there was one female uh, flower blossoming. I tried, you know, pollinating this female with that male uh, flower. I'm not sure if it's gonna work, so we'll see. Either this one's gonna dry off, gonna get turn yellow and gonna be gone, or we're gonna have a baby here. We'll see. 
and I like that it started feeling the, the net. Yes, it started um, climbing, clinching onto the net. So we have some hopes. And the next one, the peppers doing okay. And this other one is doing slow, going slow. As long as it's slow but steady, we should be fine. We'll see. And this one is our kale dropping the bottom leaves. Nothing behind it. This one is another kale with a baby, baby cucumber. Just one leaf going slow. We'll see. Uh, we'll hope it's gonna continue. And the last kale. So this is how we are looking today in this beautiful and sunny day with all these beautiful developments. I hope you love this garden as much as I do. And I hope to see you next time. Take care. Bye. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Make sure to click the bell icon beside the subscribe button to be notified about all new videos or live stream.